Advanced Algebra through Data Exploration. The following table shows the number of hours preparing for the ACT test and the scores that students received. Uh, if you were in class the day we did this warm-up, it'll look very familiar to you. This is what Mastery Quiz number four is about. A, we're going to answer what is the explanatory variable. B, what is the response variable. C, find the equation for the least squares regression line, the LSRL. That's your y equals ax plus b. That's your equation for this scatter plot. And then what is the correlation, the r? How strong is it? What direction is it going? Okay, so the first thing is let's answer a and b. That's pretty easy. So what is the explanatory variable? Well, that would be the first column, the hours preparing for ACT test. And the response is the score that you get on the ACT test. Hopefully that's obvious. The more you study, hopefully the better you do on it. Okay, that's pretty easy. Now, find the equation for the least squares regression line. Well, this is where you have to use the calculator. Now, I have already typed the numbers in. Remember, the first thing we do is we go to our stat, edit, okay, stat number one, type the numbers in list one and list two. Now, to save time, I've already typed those numbers in. So the explanatory goes in list one and the response goes in list two. Well, now you need to remember what buttons do I push to get the least squares regression line. Well, that's pretty easy. Hit your stat button again. Use your right arrow key to calculate. And pick number four. Number four says linear regression. Pick number four. Okay, now most of you will have an older calculator. So all you have to do is hit the enter button. I had to hit it several times. And we see that the... A is 0.5 and the B is 9 point, we're going to round it, 9.8. So the equation is Y equals 0.5X plus 9.8. Okay, the next question is, what is the correlation? Well, as you noticed on the calculator, the R is missing. If this ever happens to you, what we need to do is we hit the yellow or the second button, ours is blue on this one, and then go to zero, which is the catalog. Now you have to scroll down. We'll do that again. Scroll down until you get to what is called diagnostic on. Okay, that would be in the D. So we go to diagnostic on. Again, this is only if you do not see uh, the correlation. There it is, diagnostic on. I have to hit enter twice. It is now turned on. Now I have to repeat what I did before. Stat calculate number four. Hit the enter button. And we get the R is 0.99. It is positive and it is very strong. So there is a very strong positive relationship between the hours preparing for the ACT test and the score that you receive on the ACT test. All right, good luck.